what we're doing today is we're going to make a house protection jar uh, better known as a, a witch's bottle these are the herbs we'll be using we'll be using salt garlic bay leaves dried basil dill seed sage anus black pepper fennel and of course our mortar mortar and pastel to grind all of our ingredients and to bless them start with, you want to add your salt, blessed salt, you want to hold your salt in your bowl, salt that protects protect my home and all within it. Your garlic. Now I've already pre- uh, added the strength garlic that protects protect my home and all within it bay leaves will be added to the mortar for grinding the bay leaves Bay leaves in your projected pan. Bay leaves that protect, protect my home and all within it. Now, pepper. Protect my home and all that is in it.
Now we'll add the basil. Basil that protects, protect my home and all within it. Now we'll add the dill. Dill that protects, protect my home and all within it. Now we want our ground sage. Oh, that should be it. Plenty. Sage that protects, protect my home and all within it. Anise, the protective power, protect my home and all within it. <coughs> Excuse me, blessed be. Oh, yes, our spices do get just a little um, overwhelming. Protected mustard seed protect my home and all that's within it. Thyme. Protect my home and all that is within it by protective herb. Now to add what I call the Hecate herb. It's a special blending that was given to me by a very sacred sister. Goddess Hecate I invoke thee to bless my home and protect me and all that is in it. Then invoke. Blend. Sneeze a couple of times while you're filling your jar. Envision all the protective qualities of the herbs and the gods and the goddesses that rule the herbs. always thank them for the protection.
you. And keeping your home safe and protected from negativity. Now after your, your vase is your jar, whichever you want to call it, is completely filled with protective herbs. You want to take it out to circle and charge it and bless it and invoke the gods and the goddesses to protect it. Place it in your kitchen on a shelf and let it protect your home. And that, my friends, is how you make a witch's bottle. Blessed be.